and today I have a pretty different setup and I want to apologize because I know the lighting's not that good. I had a really hard time setting it up. I'm not a professional lighter. I don't do this on a regular basis. My lights have their spots and they go there. My outlets don't reach to where they need to go. So it's just been a hot mess, but I really wanted to change it up. But I got this book card last year and I never get to show it off, so I'm showing it off part of it at least, but <laughs> it's kind of not organized that well yet because I have a lot of books and it's already really full, so that's a struggle. Anyway, again, apologize if the quality of this video is not as good as normal, but I do want to change it up, especially because today I'm bringing you another poetry video so we can celebrate Poetry Appreciation Month. This one's going to be super fun. I'm not really sure how it's going to turn out, but I think it'll be really good. So today we're going to write a poem together. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. I was so excited to make this. It's gonna be a struggle because I'm not a professional writer. I don't do this. So we're gonna try this together, okay? We're just gonna give it a whirl. I have my phone here. I have some writing prompts that I'm gonna be looking at and then I have this nice leather bound journal that I got at Frankenmuth this summer that I really have only written one thing in and my pen. <laughs> so these are all the things you're gonna need to get writing. So I am gonna look for a writing prompt and we're gonna try to write a poem. It's not gonna be a masterpiece, it's not even gonna be probably that good, but we're gonna do it together, okay? Let me pull up what I got here. 30 writing prompts for Poetry Appreciation Month. I found this on a website, I'll leave a link to it down below. I think I found one that I liked earlier. We're actually gonna do the first one. Okay, so we have Grab the Closest Book. I wanna use something that's I'm not gonna know because I... So I'm gonna be using Little Omen. So Grab the Closest Book, go to page 29. You guys better be doing this with me, please. <laughs> Page 29. And we have, write down 10 words that catch your eye. Use 7 of the words in a poem. For extra credit, have 4 of them appear at the end of the line. <laughs> We're not getting extra credit for this, but... So, 10 words that catch your eye and 7 in the poem. So I have my book open, I'm gonna be writing down the words. Kinda like the word trifle, timid... Oh, okay, I like the word telegraph. So far, we have T words. You guys can obviously pick whatever book and whatever words you want. You guys should do this, it'll be fun. Um, I like the word roam. R-O-A-M, not like the place. Briskly, that's a pretty good word. Okay, briskly, I like the brisk. I like that a lot. Bashful, I feel like that's a cute one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. We need four more. I don't know, maybe burnt. Burnt is a cool word. Eyebrows, so we're gonna use, instead of four we're gonna use eyebrows because that's very specific. Okay. So I have my 10 words, I'm going to put my book back. So I have my 10 words here in the journal, and then we have to choose 7 of them and use them in a poem. So I have trifle, timid, telegraphed, roam, briskly, bashful, burnt, tight, bounced, and eyebrows. Oh, this is where it gets hard, because I don't know what I want to write about. Okay, here we go, let's write a poem. I already have no idea what I'm going to do. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Y'all, I don't even know what I was thinking when I decided to do this. Okay. Now, with poetry, we really want words that are very descriptive and very tangible. I don't know if that makes sense. So, we want words that we can almost taste or feel. We want words that appeal to the senses. And I feel like I picked a lot of words that just kind of describe something. So, we're going to have to really make this, like, strong. <laughs> Y'all, this is hard. I'm not a writer. Like, I don't even know where to begin. Like, it takes me, like, forever to write. I feel timid telegraph, so we can use lots of nice T words in there. Um, this is hard. What was I thinking? here I don't think they're any good at all I don't know what I'm writing I'm just writing right now and that's okay so I have how many words have I used I used briskly so far bashful burnt and timid so I only actually have to use three more words to complete this exercise this is not a good poem I'm just telling you guys that right now <laughs> I'm not a professional writer I don't know what I'm doing I'm just doing this for Poetry Appreciation Month. <laughs> okay, so right now I have a scene where this woman is just walking and it's really cold and windy out and that's what's happening right now. I, I guess I'll read what I have. She walked briskly, the wind piercing her skin like arrows in the storm, her cheeks red and burnt, making her appear bashful to those who pass by her, hooded and timid. Not good, I don't care, you can judge all you want. <laughs> I think 
actually have it. Okay, okay, this is what I have so far. I think I used all the words. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually used eight. I don't know if that's going against it. Okay, so this is what I have so far. She walked briskly, the wind piercing her skin like arrows in the storm, her cheeks red and burnt, making her appear bashful to those who pass by her, hooded and timid. Eyebrows raised in tight tension, mm, eyebrows furrowed, we want furrowed, eyebrows furrowed in tight tensions as dangerous thoughts roamed her mind, roamed her, oh, roamed her mind, sending silent telegraphs to her heart. I don't know, that's not good. Okay, what I'm picturing right now is there's this woman, she's frustrated, she's angry, she broke, just broke up with somebody or just got in a fight with somebody. It's snowstorming outside, she leaves and she's really upset, so she's walking fast and she doesn't have like a scarf on because she just like left in a hurry, she left her scarf maybe, and the wind is like hitting her face and when you get wind burn, like your cheeks get red, like your face gets really red. I don't know if any of you have experienced that, it's not fun, but it's not terrible, but it is like annoying. And so she's walking by and people are like seeing her and they're like, oh dang, what's wrong with this girl? Like she seems like they're nervous to like approach her because she seems like angry and so her eyebrows are like furrowed like in anger and like upset and like brave because of all this and like her mind is like sending feelings to her heart. That is what I'm making up right now. Okay, so this is my poem. She walked briskly, the wind piercing her skin like arrows in the storm, her cheeks red and burnt, making her appear bashful to those who passed by her, hooded and timid. Eyebrows furrowed in tight tensions as dangerous thoughts roamed her mind, sending silent telegraphs to her heart. I don't even know if that's good, but I did the challenge. I completed it. I hope you guys did too. <laughs> Okay guys, the last part of this video is going to be super fun, I was so excited to do this. I found this poem generator online, so we're going to do it, and it's going to be really fun, and you guys should do it too, so I'll leave a link to that down below. It's fun, okay, I promise, I did it. I'm not going to screen cap this because that's just too much right now, and I'm just using my phone instead of my computer. So you can generate these types of poems, we do free verse, quick poem, haiku, didactic, sing quang, sing quang. The rhyming couplets, a sonnet, a villanelle, a limerick, acrostic, a love poem, a narrative poem, line by line, concrete poem, or a tonka. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, should we do a love poem? We're gonna do a love poem. Okay, let's do it. So basically, it's kind of like Mad Libs, but for poetry. So we have something beautiful, a noun, an example, rose, or an ocean. Um, let's do something beautiful. The moon, we're gonna put... Oh, I like stars. We're gonna be basic in this. We're making it basic, okay? So stars. Okay, next up, an adjective to describe the person your poem is about. So kind, thoughtful, um, I want to do something fun. Uh, let's do, what would a good one be? We're gonna do passionate. Adjective to describe that person's eyes. Ooh, what should we do? I'm honestly not thinking of anybody right now. I'm just making this up for you guys. <laughs> like, I don't know, honey, honey colored. Is that a thing? We're gonna put honey color. Is that okay? Is that like not good? Whatever. An adjective to describe that person's hair. Shiny, black. We're gonna put something silky. <laughs> I'm just having a good time with this. An adjective to describe that person's leg. Long or smooth. Um, I don't know. We'll put like hairless. <laughs> no, that's terrible. We're gonna put my legs. Like of all the things. Spidery. <laughs> I forget what that's from. Spidery long legs. Oh, it's from uh... Confessions of a Shopaholic. She like describes this model's legs and she's like her spidery long legs that so we're gonna use spidery. An adjective to describe that person's arms. An example of warm, hairy. <laughs> we're gonna put strong. <laughs> I'm being so basic. Okay, last but not least, an adjective to describe that person's smile. Friendly, winning. We're gonna put cunning. They have a cunning smile. That's fun. So here we go. We're gonna write me a love poem and see how it turns out. Here we are for my passionate stars. <laughs> That's the title. Okay. Roses are red, violets are blue, my embrace is passionate and so are you. Orchids are white, ghost ones are rare, material is silky and so is your hair. <laughs> Magnolia grows with buds like eggs, hands are spidery and so are your legs. This is so cheesy. Sunflowers reach up to the skies. The sunlight is dazzling, and so are your eyes. Foxgloves and hedges surround the farms. The influence is strong, and so are your arms. Daisies are pretty, daffies have style. My look is cunning, and so is your smile. 
Stars are beautiful, just like you. <laughs> okay, that was my love poem for my passionate stars. <laughs> I just thought that was really fun. I looked it up and I thought it'd be really cute to include in this video. That's all I have for you guys today. If you like this video, be sure to give it a nice little thumbs up. If you want to keep following me on this booktube journey, please subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Erica A. Gobble. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon with another video. Bye!